What's up, everybody? It's Jared with State of Tech, and this is the HP Spectra 360 convertible that I got from Best Buy. Uh, it's a fantastic little laptop. This is, uh, I believe, more of the maxed out version. This has the i7 7500U dual core processor in it. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 solid state hard drive, um, and it's just an all around decent little machine. Now, I, I recently had a Dell XPS 2-in-1, a 13-inch little laptop, which I decided to go with first because it was just beautiful. It was just a great looking little device. Um, but the problem is, is that it had a processor in it that I was, I was kind of unfamiliar with. It was an i7 and the guy at Best Buy said it was dual core, um, which it is dual core, but it, it was different in the way that the dual cores worked. Um, they weren't equal cores like this laptop or like the U-series processors. Um, and it just ended up being, I mean, it would be great as an internet machine or email, sending email, um, you know, maybe getting into a Word document. Uh, it just wasn't powerful enough for much else. Like if, if you're gonna open up more than a few tabs in your browser while having like an email application opened or something like that, it's, it's already gonna start to lag. I needed something that at least I could go into you know, Adobe Lightroom and use it if I needed to. Maybe not do any heavy lifting, like, you know, try to export 500 images or something like that, but definitely some lighter use, uh, but not so light that it becomes basically a, um, a, you know, what you would use a Chromebook for. So I, I had to get that, I had to take that back and the guy at Best Buy had recommended this. I, I've just had a bad, taste in my mouth with HP because of early on in my in my years, which really has been a long time ago, just having so many issues with HP. Um, but of course, every PC manufacturer has had its dark ages, uh, and HP has definitely um, produced a nice machine here. So let's take a look. Um, you know, what comes in the box is this, but you also get a, a pretty decent leather sleeve. So if you uh, are, are a sleeve person with putting your laptop in a sleeve, especially a small laptop like this. A lot of our bags have enough room for a laptop like this inside of a sleeve, so it's just adding extra protection. Um, your charger is relatively small. It also comes with an extension cable, so you can kind of pop this out, um, you know, kind of reminiscent of uh, the way that Apple's um, power adapter works. Uh, it also comes with a stylus that is new with this version uh, of the um, the HP Spectra 360 convertible, uh, that it does come with the stylus. So let's take a look at the device. The build quality is, is just fantastic. It's a very solid machine. Um, your fans basically, it pulls air in from here and from, uh, you know, probably any other opening in it, but it all shoots out right here, which, can be okay, but you know, if you're using this on your lap and you know, for me, it was, it would blow all of the hot air into one spot, which was a little bit of a pain, but it, it wasn't that big of a deal. A lot of times, because this is a lighter weight laptop, I could actually use it as a laptop. Whereas, you know, with my bigger laptops that I've had in the past, you know, like say a Dell XPS 15 or, you know, even a, a 15 inch MacBook Pro, um, they just put off so much heat and everything that you just don't want to use them on your lap. And especially, you know, I mean, we can't really compare anything like this to a gaming laptop, but gaming laptops these days uh, get so, they put off so much heat um, and are kind of big and they're not really laptops anymore. They're, they're desktops that you can pick up and walk away with is really what they are. Um, so when I, when I was thinking about a small portable machine, I wanted something that was just going to be something that I could actually use in my lap that isn't going to, uh, you know, weigh a ton, that isn't going to burn me if I decide to, you know, go into Photoshop or something like that. Um, so this laptop just, it looks really good. It's just nice and sleek, uh, nice lines. I mean, they did a really good job of machining it. Um, you know, it has uh, this this kind of, you know, when you see the, the exposed metal, I guess it's kind of gold um, anodization on the sides and by the joints here which I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a gold person. 
but it looks good. It's a nice looking laptop. It doesn't look cheap. It looks very premium considering the price is uh, is relatively uh, decent for this. So it's it doesn't open one handedly. Um, you kind of have to support it a little bit. But it, it's such a light laptop. How else are you going to be able to get it opened without um, using both hands? So it powers up pretty quickly. It's very fast. The audio quality is decent. It's you know really rigid. Um, and it even feels good when you when you flip the screen over and go into tablet mode. You know, I'm not um, I'm not so much of a tablet user with Windows. I haven't found a way that it just really feels good. And then the screen is even you know quite large for me. I think when it comes to using it as a tablet. Uh, so using it as a laptop is what I primarily would be. Um, I would you know be using it as. But when you do flip it over and go into that tablet mode. Um, you know, you can go into that convertible mode and have it just, you know, now the keyboard isn't in the way. We can use it as a display. We can watch movies. We can write. Um, because it is, you know, it, it isn't strong enough that you can draw on it, you know, without maybe holding your hand behind it. But using it like this as a tablet, uh, you know, to take notes, to draw, to sketch, to do whatever you needed to do with the stylus, it's really nice, and I could see myself using it like this, putting my hand right here and just bracing it a little bit and then using it, um, you know, with the different apps. And then, of course, uh, you know, we also have Windows Inc. Workspace and all of that works uh, very well. Um, then you can finish opening it up all the way and then, of course, use it in tablet mode, um, you know, or rotate it. And uh, everything is really responsive and it works really well. Um, what I liked about this is, you know, I these days, you know, because Dell has done it and a few others have done it, not having a ton of bezel around your screen is kind of important to me. I want as much screen as possible, which I know makes the overall device a little bit smaller. And I just, you know, I think it just looks like a more premium device. And HP attempted to do that here. They kept the webcam up top and you also have Windows Hello where it recognizes your face. Um, there isn't a fingerprint scanner, but it does do the face recognition if you set that up. So that's kind of a cool plus. It's kind of hit or miss depending on your lighting. Like I set it up before, but in here with my studio lighting, it's too bright for it to recognize my face. Um, but overall, the display is gorgeous. It's just beautiful to look at. It gets extremely bright. Even here in this room with all the studio light, I could bump up the brightness of the display and see it perfectly fine. Uh, and even outside on a sunny day, you know, even though there is a little bit of glare because the screen is relatively glossy, um, the power of the display, the brightness, kind of overpowers that and you're still able to use it without having any issues. I was really impressed there. I was impressed with how powerful it was because I've had dual core i7 devices in the past, not seventh gen, but sixth gen dual core, uh, such as the Lenovo Yoga 910 that I had about a year ago now. That was a sixth gen processor, but that uh, computer seemed to have a little bit of lag for me when I would use it. I'd go into Lightroom and import a few photos and want to do some really light editing to my photos, uh, or maybe have a browser open with a couple of tabs and some email and doing a few other things. I would see a little bit of lag. This computer, this little laptop right here, powered through all of that stuff. It definitely struggled a little bit when I tried to export a lot of images in one batch, which is, it, that's, you know, that's going to happen because it's a dual core processor, 16 gigs of RAM, um, so that's really not a lot of processing power there as well. It does have uh, Intel graphics, so it uses chip-based uh, graphics, um, so it's not the most powerful graphics. You're not going to have like a great gaming experience on a laptop like this, but it does have one of the higher level uh, chip-based graphics on it with the 620 uh, graphics, and that's not too bad um, considering a lot of the other ones come with 610s or 615s. 620 is definitely much better. You're not going to be, you know, editing video and rendering stuff out in record times or, you know, doing a ton of gaming on this and having great frame rates, but it is possible. You can use, uh, use this in those instances if you just have a little bit of patience. Um, so other things that I really like about this, you know, you have a volume rocker on the side. So when you're using it in tablet mode, you're able to adjust the volume uh, because the keyboard won't be 
able to be used. Uh, you can, of course, use the touch screen to do that, but having the volume rocker is really nice. You have three USB-C ports, two on this side, one over on this side, and a headphone jack. Um, what's great about this is that this laptop with USB-C, I was able to plug in a monitor. I have a LG monitor that's USB-C. So I was able to plug that in, charge the laptop while using my external display, uh, and even a, a USB hub that's attached to the back of that monitor. And I was able to just one single plug, I've got my keyboard, my mouse, I have my monitor, I have my card reader, all that stuff instantly available to this device with one single plug, it's fantastic. I also have never had a laptop that goes to sleep so fast. When I fold the lid down, um, usually I wait, you know, maybe 30, 60 seconds before putting my laptop in my bag because I don't want the fan to run and not, and not be able to cool the processor uh, while it's in my bag. With this laptop, I close the lid. It's in sleep mode within five seconds. By the time I close the lid and put the laptop in my bag, it's already asleep and I don't have to wait, which is fantastic. That's a huge thing for me when I'm trying to get out the door in a hurry to go home. So other things, uh, last things that I think are just uh, stand out about this laptop, the trackpad is um, is very wide, it's very responsive, and I, I just really enjoy the trackpad experience. There's nothing that gets in the way. You know, a lot of people reference uh, maybe a MacBook Pro as having a great trackpad experience or a Dell XPS or something like that. Um, this is right up there with that experience. Uh, I just came off of having uh, the MacBook Pro with uh, the touch bar for a little while. I was testing and trying that out and using that as my daily laptop and going straight to this touch uh, with this trackpad was a fantastic transition. No challenges there at all. So overall, this laptop here is one of the best two-in-one, it's probably the best two-in-one on the market right now. Yes, you can get cheaper two-in-ones, and yes, there are even some more expensive two-in-ones, such as the Dell XPS two-in-one 13-inch that I returned to get this. This was actually 350 bucks cheaper for me, and it was a ton better of a decision over that Dell. Of course, that XPS, uh, you know, they've got different lines as well, Dell does. Maybe their actual XPS 13 would have been a better fit for me, but I would have lost that two-in-one functionality uh, to get that U-series processor. Battery life is also fantastic on this. I can easily go a full day of use doing normal tasks, internet browsing, email, you know, stuff like that. Uh, the battery only really starts to, to kind of take a dive when I open up some Adobe software and try to do any heavy lifting. Um, that's when, you know, things start to go south, but that's the case with any laptop uh, under battery power. You start to use some of those heavier applications. They start to use a lot more resources. So, Overall, this is one of the best laptops I've ever owned in my entire life, which I uh, is really hard to say because I've owned a lot of laptops in my time. And this, of course, does not compete with higher-end quad-core laptops, you know, that have GTX 1050, 1060 cards in them. You can't compare this to that. If you're looking for something to, to you know, do high-performance gaming, to do high performance video editing, like this is not for you. This is for the person who wants the most power they could possibly get into a small, compact, two-in-one device that's gonna be extremely mobile and uh, prob you know is just extremely accessible. For those of you that would maybe consider getting an iPad or an Android tablet, but can't give up the fact that you want a actual OS where you can install you know, Office and other applications like that, um, this is probably the best option for you. So I've got links in the description below to this laptop where you could check it out. It's also available on Amazon. I did buy mine at Best Buy, but they've got good deals on it at Amazon as well with Amazon Prime. And if you do decide to pick one of these up, use that link below because it does help support our channel here and keep us making great videos like these. So thanks so much for checking out this video. I don't think there's much more that I could say about this laptop um, other than you just have to try it. Uh, and if you're looking for a two-in-one, you're looking for a, um, you know, a convertible style laptop that opens up into a tablet, like this is probably the Lenovo Yoga 910 the seventh, with the seventh gen, and this is probably the best options for you right now. What I like about this over the Yoga is that this is more sleek. Uh, it, it has more of a, um, a standard kind of 
uh, hinge system, uh, which there's nothing wrong with the Lenovo Yoga 910's hinge system. Um, this just looks maybe a little bit more clean to me and um, yeah, I just, uh, I can't say anything else about this. It's a great device. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and give us a subscribe if you wanna be notified when we put out new videos and check out that link in the description below to this laptop so that you can see it on Amazon. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time here on State of Tech.